So hi everyone. Today I will be explaining how you can enable internet for your RAG application. So this can have multiple use cases if you wish to validate your answer that comes from RAG or if your RAG data is not up to date. In that case, you can switch to internet. There can be multiple use cases of enabling internet for your RAG application to talk to your external documents. So in this particular tutorial, I would be running through the codes how to do this. So before jumping on, I would be using RAG application and the internet access as two different tools. And then I would be enabling a LangChain agent that would be using these two tools. So do remember this. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to create an LLM object and an embedding model because we would be creating a vector DB for standard RAG using Google Gemini API key that I'm, you can see here. You can keep your Google Gemini API key here. It is free to create and you can check out my channel on how to create it. Once done, there are a few new imports that you would be seeing. I'm importing tool from agents. I'm importing SERP API wrapper. So tool, we would be creating custom tools for the agent that we would be enabling. And same goes with SERP API wrapper, which would be enabling us with the search API key. So how to create the SERP API key? This is also free to create and gives you a limited number of free hits as well. You can go to the SERP API official page and then just log in. After that, on the dashboard itself, you can see the API key. Once done, I am creating a custom tool as you can see. Name search function is search.run, which is an object of SERP API wrapper and giving a description. This description is very important because the agent would be using the description to choose whether I should be using the RAG application tool or I should be using the search tool. So here I have created a custom search tool. Now going on next, I am creating a RAG application tool as well. So this is the code for how you can create a RAG system. I am loading a dummy CSC file as you can see here. I will just show you the content. So the content is nothing but uh, the historical facts about India. So ancient history is there, medieval history is there, colonial history and modern history, etc. Different sections, uh, different pointers. So this is a RAG application that we have built over this dummy 3.txt file. Now we are converting this retriever QA chain into a tool. And then we are creating a list of tools here as you can see here. The search tool and the history tool. History tool is basically the RAG tool and search tool is the custom tool that we created here. Now we would be initializing a LangChain agent, initialize agent, passing it the tool and passing it to the LLM. Just that's it. Now let's see the magic. Agent run input how long did Delhi Sultanate lasted in India? Give reference to support your answer from the internal text Indian history. So here you can see that here also the description is very important. That is I mentioned internal text Indian history. So after using the internal text, it is saying that it's 320 years, right? Now, in the next prompt, I was asking it to validate using the internet, whether the answer is correct or not. Question, how long the Delhi Sultanate lasted? Answer is the previous answer that we got. So here you can see that, yes, the answer is correct. It is able to use the internet and then tell us that Delhi Sultanate lasted for 320 years. So this is how you can enable internet for a RAG application and can use it for multiple ways. Even you can build out flows where if you don't get an answer from RAG, you can switch to internet using LangGraph. I will be covering that soon. Thank you.